Hi guys! Today I'm making my white chocolate coconut mud cake. I absolutely love this recipe. It is so popular to have a mud cake here in Australia. I know lots of people have been wondering because they look quite thick and dense. Are they moist? Are they delicious? And the answer is once you try this recipe, there will be no going back. Mud cakes have got this gorgeous creaminess and richness to them. I've added a touch of coconut with some coconut milk as well as some desiccated coconut. We have our gorgeous Swiss meringue buttercream with fresh raspberries added. And then I've topped it off with a sprinkling of my favorite white chocolate, raspberry and coconut sweets. Now the first thing we need to do is make that mud cake. So I've got some unsalted butter, 250 grams of it. The same amount of white chocolate melts is gonna be going in. 200 ml of a light coconut milk, one and a half cups of either plain sugar or caster sugar. So you can go for a little bit finer if you like. They both dissolve really well in the saucepan. It just takes a touch longer if you're using a regular sugar. I also have two large eggs and half a cup of light sour cream. Lastly, I have our flowers. So I have one and a quarter cups of plain flour, one cup of self-raising flour, and half a cup of desiccated coconut. And I really love adding that because it just adds a little bit more texture and depth to this cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my butter as well as my white chocolate into a saucepan and place it on a low to medium heat. And I'm just gonna stir it gently until it starts to dissolve. Then I'm gonna add in my sugar as well as my coconut milk. Again, gently stirring it from time to time until it's completely dissolved. Then you can take it off the heat and allow it to cool for about 15 minutes. Now once that's just about cooled down, I want to turn on my oven to 160 degrees Celsius and also get started with my other ingredients. So I'm going to take my two eggs and crack them into my sour cream. Now I'm going to place my plain flour and my self-raising flour into our bowl and just sift it. Now there's not much point sifting the desiccated coconut because it's not gonna work. It's nice and big and chunky. So we wanna go ahead and just pop that in separately and give it all a gentle stir. Make a bit of a well in the center and then pop in that egg mixture. Fold the flour over and just combine it together. Now before it's fully combined, you want to go ahead and start adding some of your chocolate mixture. The reason why we don't pour the whole thing in at once is that it will flood the mixture. And what that means is that it will become so runny that even though you keep stirring, it's not going to combine and it's going to make the cake fail. So just add in little bits and give it a good stir to lift all of that flour. Now, if you haven't baked a mud cake before, you're gonna find that the batter is quite runny and you're also gonna find that it takes quite a long time to bake. They truly are completely different to any other recipe, but they are so moist and rich and dense. And once you've had a mud cake, you will know exactly why I love them so much. Now I've gone ahead and lined a seven inch round cake pan. I've also done my usual thing and lined it with some wet paper towels and some foil. Now if you're not sure why I'm doing all of this, the description box below has a link for you to our lining cake pans video. It's an old video, but it's a good one because this will get you a perfectly level cake. So now we're just gonna pour the batter in. And you can see that it's filling up almost the entire pan. It does rise a little bit, but it doesn't rise as much as a normal cake. And as you can see, I'm only using one cake pan, whereas often if you do a lighter, fluffier cake, you use two cake pans to create one cake. This time, we're gonna be baking it in the oven for about two hours or so, and that is gonna give us a really delicious, dense cake. So after our cake has been chilling in the fridge for about six hours, it's time to get started on our raspberry buttercream. I have here a full batch of our Swiss meringue buttercream, and to that I'm gonna add about 125 grams of raspberries, which is about a cup. Giving them a gentle stir, 
and just pressing down with your spatula to break up some of the raspberries. And I don't know about you guys, but I really love how you can see all of the raspberries in this. It always makes it so much more enticing to eat when you can really see the flavors popping out at you. And I also have about 200 grams of white chocolate ganache. And I'm gonna be using that to pour over our frosted cake. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cake into three layers. Each one's gonna be about 22 millimeters high and that way we can shave off just the very tip of this cake so that we don't have that crunchy top. And you can go ahead and use a cake leveler for this or you can just cut it by hand measuring with a ruler. Now taking a little bit of ganache, I'm going to stick my first layer of cake onto a cake board. And you can see just how moist and dense this cake is. Now I'm going to take some of our delicious raspberry Swiss meringue buttercream and give this cake some really nice layers. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so amazing. You can smell the fresh raspberries. It's just got this real kind of like a zing to it and it's gonna taste that way too. To add a little bit more texture, I'm gonna do a sprinkling of desiccated coconut before I pop on my next cake. And then pop our top cake on. I'm just going to go around and scrape the sides and then I'm going to apply some of our buttercream to the sides of the cake. Now we want to pull into the center and just do a light coat on top. Now we're going to take our white chocolate ganache and drizzle it over the edge. Just helping it to drizzle down. And lastly, I'm gonna to top off the cake by adding some toasted coconut chips, some dried raspberries, as well as some coconut and white chocolate sweets. And even some cute little sugar pearls. And just crush up some of the raspberries. And there you go guys, that's my white chocolate coconut mud cake with raspberry Swiss meringue buttercream. I love making this for friends and family, it's always such a huge hit. It's got the creaminess of the white chocolate mixed with the texture of the coconut and that little zing of raspberry in the frosting. Be sure to check out the description box below and you'll find a link to our website where you can find the entire recipe written down. And you can even print it from there so that you can keep it in your recipe box. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe to our channel for more videos.